Greetings, Discovery Rangers. This is Ender David Ostrander. We're getting into John now. We're done with Luke. We did the five lessons in Luke. Let's do, let's open with a word of prayer. Lord Jesus, thank you for this day. Thank you for this time together. I just pray this word sinks down deep into uh, our hearts, Father God, as we study the word of God together. In Jesus' name, amen. So I hope everything finds you well. Let's start out with our our text is going to be uh, John 1, 5. And it says, the light shines in the darkness and the darkness has not overcome it. Or in some translations, comprehended it. With God's help, I will be a light in the dark world. That's our key point. Now let's read our passage for the day. John 1, 1 through 5. That's the Gospel of John. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was with God in the beginning. Through him all things were made, and without him was not anything made that has been made. In him was life, and that life was the light of all mankind. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness has not overcome it. So it says in the book of Genesis says that God created the world. And, and this passage here is sort of parallel, is parallel with Genesis. That's where John gets his idea. He's talking about in the beginning and Genesis says in the beginning is the first sentence of the Bible. He spoke the universe into existence, God did. He created all, all the stars the planets, the plants, the animals, and human beings, Adam and Eve. John tells us that Jesus was with God when the world was created. Jesus was so active in creation that every single thing that God created was made through Jesus. He's the Word. He's called the Word in the Bible and in this passage. John calls Jesus the Word and says that the Word is God. They are one and the same. Jesus is God, just as the Father is God. That's why we, we believe in the Trinity, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. They're all God. Life on the earth began through Christ. Hebrews, in the New Testament, 1-2 tells us that it was Jesus through whom also he made the universe. Verse 3 that Jesus sustains all things by the power of his word. In other words, the universe began through Christ and it is sustained and it is maintained through Christ. He's maintaining us now, he, even in this coronavirus epidemic, he's maintaining the world, he's faithful. After human sin, Jesus came to earth as a baby. He became the light of the world. When when it is dark in the house and you are trying to find your way around, a light shows you the way to go. In the same way, Jesus became the light to the world to show us the way to go and that we won't fall into sin. But the darkness in the world tried to destroy the light that God provided. Jesus, on the other hand, people, people on the side of darkness arrested Jesus. They put him on trial and killed him. They thought they had won. They thought the light that light had provided, God had provided, had been destroyed forever. But you can't destroy the light. Instead, Jesus rose from the dead and proved that darkness cannot overcome the light. And it cannot comprehend the light either. Uh, as in that, that's called textual criticism. Sometimes you have two readings because uh, there's different manuscripts of the New Testament. And you'll learn about this later on. But when you're reading along, sometimes you'll come across this in other passages. But it, it doesn't change the New Testament. It doesn't change the Bible. It's just once in a while there might be a different reading, you know, and you can, you know, look at that. But it doesn't change the basic message of the Bible at all. 
But the darkness in the world tried to destroy the light. Then God went a step further. He put the Spirit, the Holy Spirit of Christ, into those who follow Jesus. That's us. We have the Holy Spirit living inside us. The resurrection power, it says in Romans. That Spirit that raised Christ from the dead is in us. Now we can show God's light to everyone we meet. The light, the life and the light of God lives inside of each believer. And God uses us to show his love to the world. We should do our part willingly and proudly so everyone and everywhere can see God's light. Because God has given the light of Jesus Christ, we know the world cannot overcome it when they, and they cannot comprehend it. Nothing in this life has the power to destroy the light that God has placed in you. Greater is he that's in you than he that is in the world. That's in 1 John. That means that when we are going through hard times and when life is difficult, God's power is at work within you. God will help you overcome your struggles, your fears, and your temptations. Praise God. As a group, discuss the following questions. How did you know that God's light is living inside you? What challenges do you face in being a light each day? What should you do when you go through a dark times and try to destroy God that try to destroy God's light? And I wanted to also add this response here. I thought it was good. It says on a sheet of paper, write down the names of up to three people you, you can be a light to this week. Maybe you could call them and, uh, or, 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 or however you communicate through the computer. Maybe they're in your house, your parents, your brothers and sisters. Pray for God to make you a light to your friends this week. Next week, be prepared uh, to tell about it. The opportunities you had to be the light. Well, we're not going to meet, so. But you can definitely, uh, you know, you definitely can do this project. It's a great project, and you know, and you know, <clears throat> you can see how, how that works. You know, that's that's what we're called to do. So the key point is, with God's help, I will be a light for God in the dark world. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness has not overcome it or comprehended it. John 1, 5. Now let's pray. Dear God, thank you for sending Jesus to be the light of the world. Thank you for putting your light inside me so that I can shine brightly for you. Please help me to live for you each day and to show your light to each person I meet. Help me to be bold in living for you this week and every week. In Jesus' name, amen. Well, Discovery Rangers, we're moving along. I want to thank you for participating every week. You're a blessing. Until next time, this is Commander Dave signing off. God bless you. In my wrestling and in my doubts, in my failures, you won't walk out. Your great love will lead me through You are the peace in my troubled sea Whoa, you are the peace in my troubled sea In the silence you won't let go In the questions your truth will hold Your great love will lead me through you are the peace in my troubled sea Whoa -oh. You are the peace in my troubled sea My lighthouse, my lighthouse Shining in the darkness I will follow you oh. My lighthouse, my lighthouse I will trust the promise You will carry me safe to shore Tomorrow brings With each morning I'll rise and 